got our first trailer for the acolyte and admittedly not a show i'm super excited about but we're gonna react to the trailer and uh yeah we're gonna watch together all right here we go close your eyes first trailer for the acolyte your eyes this is supposed to be like the end of the higher public era we must not trust them again you're only gonna get honest reactions from me so tell me what we'll comes see. into your mind missed opportunity right here to not have yoda that's crazy life balance i see fire interesting Oh, okay, so it looks like some actual hand-to-hand -hand combat with like a, a normal knife, so that'll Someone be different. Jedi. It doesn't make sense. Yellow lightsaber, it's gonna be sick. Big fan of yellow. Wookie, Wookie Jedi. When they announced the show, I thought it had crazy potential. But then I saw like some stuff from the writer, director, this whoever. This is about good or bad. Has me worried. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it. What is that? Oh snap! Red lightsaber. Okay. Really. Really? Hang on, let's rewind this right here. How many Jedi is this? How many? Hang on. That's like, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven or eight Jedi just gets blown away like that. All right, let's talk about this trailer a little bit. All right, so there was the first trailer for the acolyte a show when it was announced i was extremely excited about because the high republic era is an interesting era to me it's not necessarily my favorite i'm not a massive fan of it but i was curious to see that because that's about the time period where the jedi are at their peak uh there's there's no sith in the galaxy or they think and yoda is in his prime so whenever i picked up the books i was very surprised that yoda wasn't even really a main focus of the high republic era Whatever. I was hoping they would show him in this. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. The Acolyte, I think it's the director, writer. I don't remember which one. I think it's a writer. Uh, said some very controversial stuff that brought up a lot of worry for me with this. And now I'm worried that this time period is too close to the actual canon timeline that we've gotten so far with like Anakin and the fall of the Jedi order and everything like that. Because if this is at the end of the higher public era, that's only a couple hundred years before the uh, rise of the Sith and the fall of the Jedi. And Yoda's alive during this time. He's in his prime. So he would kind of be like a frontline defense and it just seems like they're going to ruin his character by making him pretty much forget everything that happened during this time with the rise of the Sith. So that's a it's going gonna, it's gonna to be interesting. It also looks like they might have the one Sith or two Sith, whoever in the show be unbelievably overpowered. I'm not sure how that's going to go. I know um, it kind of kind of makes it look that way like force pushing like eight Jedi like that. And that was, that was pretty clearly a force push. You could see the red lightsaber and the person kind of in the stance. It just wasn't super clear on the video, but you could definitely see that there. It was definitely a force push. So it's interesting. It looks like we're gonna get a lot more hand to hand combat too, with like knives and stuff like an assassin killing Jedi with, without light, without force abilities, without a lightsaber. So yeah, that's going to be, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I just, I don't know. I don't think this trailer 
did anything for me in terms of my excitement because I'm so extremely worried about this. The High Republic era hasn't been as successful as they had hoped. And this kind of seems like maybe one of their final pushes to make it popular. But again, this is the end of it. So I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what Disney's doing, actually. Like, genuine, genuinely, I have no idea what Disney is trying to do with this show. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Whatever. And especially since they're like moving on into the future now with like the Mandalorian movie and it's going into like the Ahsoka show and the Ahsoka movie that's going to happen. And then they're going to all come together to fight Thrawn for a movie that's well into the future after this show is supposed to take place. And then they're continuing with Rey and her story. I don't know what this show's purpose is. I don't know what it serves. Maybe it's a conclusion to all of the books and the comics that I haven't read, which are High Republic era stuff, just because I don't find it that interesting. Focuses on the wrong things, in my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, the time period, the Jedi being at their peak, Yoda being in his prime, sounds like a really cool time period. Not been the case for me. They haven't really focused on the things that I'd like to see them focus on. And then with this, it seems like it has the potential to really ruin characters like Yoda or in Yaddle, who were definitely alive at this time and just seem to have forgotten basically everything that happened. So, yeah, I don't know. My excitement level at a 10, probably like a six for the show. I'm still going to watch it, obviously. But yeah, I don't know. And I'm still working through the Bad Batch, I promise. I'm. I'm struggling with that too, honestly, because I think that the Bad Batch put so much emphasis, especially during this last season, on trying to make Palpatine's return make sense when I don't even think that's the worst problem in the sequels. So, yeah, I don't really know what Disney's doing. I'm curious to see how after all these projects they had already funded and started working on before Dave Floney was promoted to like the creative executive... I'm excited to see what happens after all of those are made and things start moving forward. I think with Dave at the helm, we're getting stuff like the Mando movie. We're getting Ahsoka. We're getting Thrawn. We're getting all of these things that are great for Star Wars. But this just seems like something they kind of had to make. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let me know if you guys are excited for this show down in the comments. You know how I feel about it. I almost forgot to mention if you want to watch and listen to a very good Star Wars fan fiction, make sure you go listen to the first chapter of my audiobook, Sensitive, a Star Wars fan fiction by yours truly. If you love Star Wars, make sure you subscribe, and I appreciate you for watching. May the Force be with you.